smell good, uh, don't spend any money. Smell good, don't spend any money. Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about 10 different cheap fragrances, assuming you buy them from discounters. That'll have you smell like a million bucks. At discounters, these fragrances should be right around $40 or less. Some of them are a lot less but they top out around 40 bucks. That's pretty cheap when you consider most fragrances, we're talking designers here, retail for about $100. So let's jump into it. Let's check these fragrances out. Let's smell like a million bucks. All right, let's kick it off. First fragrance is gonna legitimately have you smelling like one million the fragrance. <laughs> Yeah, this one. Ooh, look how reflective. So here we have a cheap fragrance that not only has you smelling like a million bucks, it also has you smelling like one million. It's Halloween Man. This is the original Halloween Man. The one that gets the most hype is Halloween Man X, which I also really, really like. And I do suggest you check that one out, assuming that you like fragrances that have a prominent coffee note to them. Now this one has cinnamon, vanilla, leather, amber, and even a martini note. Yeah, a little bit of booze for you in this one. Ultimately though, this one does end up smelling quite a lot like Paco Rabanne's One Million. So ultimately what you're getting is a warm, spicy, sweet scent that's really good at pulling attention. Up next, we have a fragrance that I've highlighted a number of times. I think it's actually really good for the price because this goes for next to nothing nowadays. It's Trisardi Reflesso. This one has Tonka, Apple, Leather, and Lavender as some of the notes in the fragrance. And it's got a bit of a similarity to La Nuit de Lome the original Eau de Toilette version from Yves Saint Laurent. Now you can find this at retail in the US, at least last time I checked, it was on, I think Macy's maybe, but it was right like at the absolute end of the best sellers. Like you could sort by best sellers, go to the last page or like second to last page, and that's where you would find this, just absolutely buried. But it smells surprisingly good, yes, not the most unique thing because as I said, similarities to La Nuit de Lome, but as far as being uh, just a very wearable, great smelling scent for next to nothing at discounters, yeah, it is. All right, next up, Missoni Wave. Also, Missoni Parfum Pour Homme, that one could be in this list as well, so do be aware of that fragrance also. Missoni Parfum Pour Homme, that one smells similar to Bleu de Chanel. So as far as inexpensive alternatives to Bleu de Chanel, that's my favorite choice. I think you should not go with Armoff Tag Helm as far as Bleu de Chanel alternatives, Tag Helm is trash. Now, back to Missoni Wave, this fragrance is a Big time attention grabber, compliment puller for me personally. Works great in spring and summertime. I mean, that's kind of obvious looking at the bottle, you know, this kind of aquatic vibe. It smells a bit like a cross between Chanel Alorum Sport and Versace Pour Homme. So it kind of rides the middle between those two. This one's got citrus, oak moss, lavender, and C notes, and it's the total package for a cheap price. It's got versatility, it has that compliment factor if that's what you're after. It's got ease of use, it doesn't have this kind of synthetic vibe to it, no roughness, nothing sticks out like a sore thumb, and you get this great presentation with a magnetic cap. It's a great pickup. Now one for my guys that are middle-aged and older, Kinzo Jungle. Now this is a personal favorite of mine, the bottle. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you think it looks a little cheesy with this kind of brush up at the top that's supposed to look like a, a zebra. Cinnamon, citrus, nutmeg, cardamom, woods. This one has a throwback feel to it. So if you were a big fan of fragrances that came out in the late 90s, early 2000s, something like this probably will appeal to you. Now, just to clarify, when I say that, I'm not talking about fragrances like CK1, I'm talking more fragrances like Gucci Envy. It's the type of fragrance that doesn't really rely on sweetness. Instead, it's a combination of spices and woods to really drive forth that masculine edge. And I think it smells friggin' awesome. I love Kenzo Jungle, love it. Then we've got a fragrance that has flown under the radar for a long time. Very cheap price, actually most fragrances from this house at discounters are cheap and um, this one just never really caught on like some of the others from the house. It's Homage à l'homme. Now this is from Lalique. So Lalique is most well known for Encre Noir. To a lesser extent, Lalique White. But this one, 
not quite as much. And yet it smells gorgeous. This stuff, like for the price that you pay when you smell it, Ooh, the quality is sick. Now that's not really out of the ordinary for Lalique to have a fragrance that costs very little and then the quality is very high, at least relative to the price you paid. Again, Ancre Noir. First time I smelled that, I just went <laughs> and just kind of launched into a, a different dimension. W wasn't what I was expecting quality wise. Now this one, like Kenzo Jungle, going to appeal more to guys middle aged and older. It does have sweetness to it, but the sweetness here is going to be coming from the multitude of uh, florals that are being used along with a, a bit of sweet spice off the top as well as some resins as the fragrance dries down adds a nice warmth and sweetness so you've got labdanum in here you have oud you've got saffron you've got violet leaf which is going to be one of the more prominent things in the fragrance it's classy it's grown but it has this this nice little playful edge to it it is a fragrance that did grow on me over time. When I first got this many years ago, you know, I smelled it and I wasn't quite sure if, uh, if I was really all about it. But over time, you know, smelling it more, wearing it more, it just became one of those fragrances that when I get a hit of it, it's, it's like, man, geez, God, they don't make them like that Not anymore. But again, younger guys, may not like it so much. Let's throw a little clone in here. Attack of the Clones, Clone Wars, Supremacy Incense from Afnon. Now, this whole Supremacy line, for the most part anyway, is really good as far as the quality of the clones, what they're emulating, they do a good job. Now this one, Supremacy Incense, this is a clone of Interlude Man from Amouage, also known as the Blue Beast. Not the Blue Beast from X-Men, that's a different blue beast. This one's got smoke, oud, spices, resins, pretty much the same note breakdown as Amouage Interlude. So with this fragrance, you're getting what it says. It's supremacy incense. You're gonna get a lot of that. So when you spray this on, you're gonna get hit with that smokiness. It has a, an oregano note, which some people find off-putting. That's gonna be in the opening. So uh, if you've never smelled Interlude before, be aware of that, that the opening, first couple times you smell it, you might be like, no, you know, Lost Boys, stay away. But as it dries down, it gets better. Now this next fragrance I picked up for, I think, $14.99. It was at a TJ Maxx, and it was in the clearance section. And uh, it's a fragrance house that doesn't get a whole heck of a lot of love. So the fragrance house is Vince Camuto, and the fragrance is Terra. It's got woods, tonka, citrus, and vanilla, some of the notes in the fragrance, and there are definitely some cheap parts just looking at the presentation. Honestly, I've never been a big fan of the bottles. I think they look pretty crappy, frankly. Just a very plain look with this little wrap around it and this sort of what, like metallic shouldered top that they put on the top. So they try to make it look nicer. They give it this leather feel, but then when you pick it up and you actually hold it in your hands, it's this very super cheap plasticky kind of leather. It just doesn't feel very nice. But again, I paid $15 for it, so can't really complain, even though I kind of am. So how does it smell? Well, to me, it kind of reminds me of a, a woodsy take on Eros. Yeah, Versace Eros. It has that similar kind of vanillic sweetness. The way that it's used in Eros is how it's used here. Now that can be surprising if you've never smelled this fragrance, if you've never read anything about the fragrance, because when you pick up the bottle and you see that it's wrapped in this brown pleather and the name is Terra, that would probably make you think, ah, oh, this is gonna be earthy. Then you smell it and it's actually sweet and Erosy. That's what it is, and for the price, it's actually really solid. Then we're gonna get into some Azaro action. Wanted by Night would be a really obvious choice, but instead we're going with Chrome Extreme. It's so much Chrome, I can't believe it. It is extreme. C notes, Juniper, Cashmere, and Green Mandarin. It's a fresh, aquatic, blue type of fragrance, really. Some similarities to Aqua de Joe Profondo, only at a much more affordable price. Really though, Chrome Extreme, smells great. If you're looking for something that you can wear nearly anywhere that people will love, this is a great option if you don't want to spend all that much money. Like I said, if you wanted to, you could use that in place of Aqua de Joe Profondo and just save yourself a little money. Now another one for the middle-aged and older guys, Guerlain Vetiver. Oh, this stuff is just 
Mm. It's good. It's real good. Vetiver, citrus, tobacco, spices, florals. It's one of those uh, throwback style fragrances in the sense that they don't rely on a whole bunch of sweetness. Guerlain Vetiver has that more old school citrus in the opening where it's a little bit sharper. Uh, it's not quite as uh, synthetically fresh and sweet. It has a tobacco note that's pretty prominent as it dries down as well. And then the vetiver is just thick and full bodied. Love the fragrance though. Absolutely amazing. And for the price, that's one of the best buys you're ever going to make. Last but not least, Varvetos Vintage. Rhubarb, tobacco, suede, cinnamon, and tonka. I've talked about this one many, many times. One of my favorites from the entire house, if, if not my favorite, really. The performance is not amazing. That's the big drawback. You know, it could have a little more pump to it, have a little more oomph to it. I really enjoy that, that tart little pop of rhubarb that you get in the opening as it dries down. This spicy, smooth suede and tobacco. Get this little tart pop of rhubarb rhubarb in the opening smells amazing grabs my attention right away as it dries down you get that that mix of spices very smooth suede and a rich tobacco it, it absolutely crushes in the fall and winter assuming people can smell it all right guys it's gonna do it for me these fragrances all smell amazing their price really low at discounters again if you buy them at retail they're not cheap fragrance net assuming you can get that 35 percent off code all of these should be 40 bucks or under. Some of them are closer to 20. All right, guys, gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.